Good afternoon. Can you hear me well? Yes. It it's okay. Thank you. Uh, so let's start our session. Um, um, let me introduce our uh, team first. Uh, we have Maciej Vash, a solicitor, managing partner in one of the Polish um, famous law firm. Uh, we have Tomasz Grajewski, business development expert, um, who cooperates with many institutions, financial institutions, uh, also capital markets, and myself, Krzysztof Łuczak, uh, CEO of Cloud Services, a software house company connected with Blue Media Group, a large payment service provider. So uh, let's start with your presentation. Please proceed. Yeah, thank you. So uh, first, I'd like to introduce myself. Good afternoon, I'm Adriana Brzezinska. And I'd like to just ex express my happiness that I can actually be here and talk to you, meet with you, you to be a uh, participate uh, to Queen Hedwig's scholarship. I'm a 16 years old student and I'm attending currently the second grade in first Liceum in Tarnów. And at the beginning, let me, uh, let me just share with you some of my achievements, uh, which I've gained uh, from the last two years in my high school. So the first would be being able to participate in the final of the 33rd uh, Olympiad in Theology. Uh, it was very interesting, um, a very interesting, let's say, opportunity to meet with, for example, uh, ancient Greek, which I haven't really learned before, uh, to talk about sources of Bible because it was necessary. Additionally, I also achieved a victory, but not on my own, but with my huge team, uh, which was a success for us to win the debate in, in subject of safety in the internet. Uh, I remember that this success was really meaningful for us because we could actually talk each other to each other. It was uh, it was during last year when the last pieces of Corona uh, virus was in the year, and we could really feel the the happiness from just cooperating together. Another thing would be uh, being a part of volunteering club, which I'm really happy to. Uh, from taking care of people with disabilities, which open our minds to the needs of those people, uh, but also organizing things like cafes or bazaars, which had a huge impact on helping and supporting a house which our uh, town decided to support in Africa, the Tanga House. And mentioning all of those things, uh, probably won't connect too well with the fact that I am attending to a class which focuses mostly on mathematics and English because those are the subjects I currently extend. Um, maybe that's because I've always met with, with this putting labels on students. Probably you, you'll know what I mean while talking about uh, people who write essays so they for sure don't uh, enjoy mathematics or or the stereotype that if you're a programmist you probably hate poetry well truly truly i don't agree with that and from from many years because we had some time i had some time to make big decisions like choosing my school or my, my profile uh, it was pretty challenging to just uh, fit myself into those uh, stereotypes so i decided to extend something more. Uh, right now I'm taking a, a faculty in Polish and biology as a, let's say I don't see it as just a subject in school, it's more like just dipping deeper when it comes to knowledge about the world. Biology, I feel like it's, it is fascinating, so it's not just an obligatory thing for me. When it comes to my assets, uh, I'd say it's emotional and social development on high level. Uh, I see opportunity, opportunities to talk to people as something what brings me joy in life. I like to just um, see others' perspectives and confront my own ideas with somebody else's. I feel like the value of idea uh, is just higher when you talk to somebody else about it. And that is why my idea for future plans, which I highlighted actually in my uh, motivation letter, my future plans are connected with people. Uh, I 
I'd like to study and make a research about how our cultural and let's say let's say just cultural impact how it influences our minds what has to do our beliefs our traditions which we are raised in uh, how they impact our minds our well-being our memory and emotions because it actually does impact on us does have impact on us um and all what i would need probably in the future about this research about scientific proje projects connected with biology with biotechnical things are <laughs> are actually in silicon valley i do about laboratories about great prestigious universities about sciences who have you know contacts with actual experts from business in this area but again there are also people and those people are the, the biggest goal for me to just meet them to have the opportunity to talk with people who succeed uh, but also young ones who could go with me for the trip to uh, to California because I do believe and I actually know that other participants have huge motivation, huge education achievements and also motivation and those three things I do believe are the pillars of, of success. So thank you very much. Thank you Adriana for, for your presentation. Uh, I like it very much. Uh, let's move to the questions and uh, maybe Maciej, uh, could you start please? Uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, imagine you are going uh, for the trip. You are now in LA or, or Silicon Valley. Whom you would like to meet in California? Who is your, for example, role model or, uh, or uh, somebody you are interested in? And what uh, you would like to ask such person? So probably the person who I'd like to meet uh, would be a person connected with not only biology, I do know authorities in this area of knowledge, but also I'd like to meet somebody who has connections with business and technology, which stands behind the biologic knowledge you need to research. I'd like to know stuff about technical, from the technical view, from the technical perspective of it. No further okay. question, thank you. Uh, yes, Tomas, please. Yes, uh, in, in, in your documents, you, you, you said about your plans that, that they are related with uh, genetics, psychological health, and also uh, new methods of uh, analysis by, by the new technology. Do you have any achievement or experience in that respect? My whole experience with biology, as I mentioned in my presentation, are mostly when it comes to my private research i do learn i do read and i do uh, watch things about it but i do not have an opportunity to really take part in any kind of project like this because i basically don't meet with any chances like this either it's at school either on the internet not for young people like me not under 18 years old thank you okay and if you have only a uh, seven word sentence, which would convince us uh, that you are the best candidate, what kind of sentence you would like to share with us? Seven word, not more, not less. Okay, give me a second. It should be about me or about my plan for the trip? The, the way you want to convince that you are the best candidate. Okay. I'm searching for people who are curious. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, one question from my side. You mentioned in your motivation letter uh, that, uh, okay, you mentioned in your presentation that you are a member of Voluntary Club. Yes, helping um, disabled people. Um, is it the club that you set up, created, or is it the club, I don't know, it's kind of organization, foundation? Actually, it has a name, is a volunteering club in India. Uh, and it was set before I really went to this school. So I went to something that was already already ready to work. Uh, but 
when it comes to initiatives which we are doing in this path, uh, I did actually organize my own things like cafes, which I mentioned. And in, in a few days, actually, I'm doing the second um, the second cafe for supporting the Tanga House. We will be raising on our the new factor of our school to help them. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think we will uh, move to feedback uh, session or part of our um, meeting. Uh, so yes, uh, Maciej, maybe um, uh, you will start. Uh, again, for sure, you are a very talented person. You demonstrated very, very good communication skills. Um, in my opinion, you keep, uh, you keep good contact with us. So thank you for your time. I really like your presentation and I keep my finger crossed for you. Thank you. Yes, Tomasz, please. Yeah, I, I share the uh, Machi's view. Uh, your presentation was very natural. Uh, your smile is your strength. So use it, uh, use it more often or as much as, uh, you know, as often as, as, as possible. Um, what I missed is a little bit of the, the concrete information uh, about your plans, about you know how, how the Silicon Valley um, trip would, would would change your change your life. So my recommendation would be also to to be more concrete in the future in in whatever you are going to do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, I. Uh, I'm sorry. Like I... your presentation, I must say it was oh. very na it was very natural. And um, um, uh, you also emphasized, and it was very well structured. Uh, I think what I what what I was missing is a little bit more energy, yes, <laughs> in your presentation to convince us. Let's say, yeah, I want to get it. <laughs> I actually <laughs> do want. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, thank you very much. It was thank it you. was pretty good. Uh, so in within two weeks' time, uh, you will get feedback from us, and good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.